Hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a quick recap for my own video journaling of the mistakes that I think I made today. Uh, I tried trading today on July 4th, the morning session. I not don't even want to have the argument with you about whether I should trade this time or not. I don't care what you think. Um, that being said, uh, I was short from up here, and then I covered those five contracts way too early. So I really did not allow the market to develop here. I got greedy. I thought it was coming back up to the breaker, which it could have, and then come back down. So this really could have been a winning day instead of a losing day. In addition to that, I usually like, I mean, this time I had it, you know, pretty nailed, but with the short, but I'm much more comfortable scaling into a position or, or taking on a pyramiding. So going one contract and then adding on another and waiting, you know, and adding on another. Uh, that's generally been treating me pretty well. So I'm going to stick with that uh, instead of, you know, taking on five contracts at once. Although here, in that case, that short would have been, yeah, that short would have been pretty good. So, you know, the mistake here was taking on five contracts at once. That has not been the entry mechanism or the the risk management that has worked the best for me. Um, taking on a couple contracts at a time, one contract at a time, and then adding on. Uh, just taking on one contract at a time has been successful for me, so I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm not going to change that. Although in this instance, the entry was really good because I had five contracts on. I wasn't comfortable holding it for the duration, which that was the duration. So if I'm not yet comfortable taking on a full entry and a full exit, be, uh, for whatever reason, I'm just not as performative with that, then I'm going to stick to you know taking on one contract at a time. Uh, maybe one day if I'm a multi-millionaire, I'll, I'll take on two contracts at a time, but right now, just one contract at a time. Um, so that's that. And then down here with the longs, I entered in too early. I entered in at three standard deviations. You can see that we did have reactions off the five. So the five standard deviations just below this liquidity point here did have a decent size retracement. That was another trade. But because I had five contracts on here, yeah, I didn't I ended up taking a, a pretty substantial loss, a 2K loss on my trading combine today. Um, again, because I was taking on full trades instead of doing my normal scaling in. And so a normal scaling in would have been one contract here, maybe one here, maybe one here. And then at that point, I would have, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that was the mistake today, is trying to do full trades all in one spot. Um, I, have, I have done better with pyramiding and cost averaging, okay? I've just done better with it. And so I'm going to stick with it, you know, taking on, adding on risk over time rather than adding on all the risk at once. Even even if I do get a top tick trade, it doesn't matter because, I, you know, it, it <clears throat> what it does when I take on a full position at once is I become less objective about what the market is doing, uh, more concerned about my position and less objective about price. So when I take on one contract at a time, even if I get up to six or seven contracts, I'm way more objective about price. So uh, we are going to be pyramiding from this point forward. Um, that will be our exclusive entry and exit model is going to be a pyramid cost average model. They say never add on to a loser. I mean, not if that is what you're attempting to do. <laughs> not if like that is your entry mechanism, right? It's all these truisms are kind of, you know, hokey. So anyways, you'll, you will be seeing me cost average. ICT shows that um, from a math sense. It can make, you know, but it just allows me to, to <clears throat> stay in with these trader trades longer. I'm more comfortable holding the trades on longer when I don't take on the full position at once. So that was the big mistake of July 4th trading. I wanted to make a quick video journal of that, and that's going to be about it. Bye.